Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Florence here. Tuning in to post a video, it's been a minute. I can't even deny, I do believe these Pisces waters are getting the best of this Mercury girl. So what y'all been doing? How have you been feeling? How's your dream state been? I know my dreams have been off the chart. Like, not been wanting to get out of bed. I want to stay in my dream sleep. Whew, lots of break apart energies, one could say. Most of all, it's kind of a somber feel. It's a lot of deep diving. So today in the sky, we have Venus and Mars coming closer together. This is going to bring a lot of tensions. You know, Pluto and the South Node are getting closer. That's not going to happen yet. But where Venus and Mars are coming together, as we have the full moon coming in Libra, by the way, I have a Libra moon. <laughs> it's gonna be a beautiful rebirth dynamic but it's also gonna kind of reconstructurize and bring to surface the way that we handle relationships if we honor ourselves, do we shine for ourselves well, through keeping balance a lot of break apart energy disillusions coming maybe even as we end this month on march 30th we're going to have Mercury, our brains, coming to a standstill on top of planet Neptune at the exact same time that Pluto's conjuncting the south node. So basically jackhammering on what we're supposed to be letting go. We still have some remodeling headed our way. So if you're kind of feeling like you're just out in the middle of the ocean, crashing back and forth on the water tides, not a lot of movement. Hold strong, I think we're all feeling it. I can tell that this last week, it's been super fun because see, I am born with Mercury, which is the brain, in Virgo, retrograde. In this last week, we have had Mercury, in Pisces retrograde okay but the highlight there is we had Mercury come conjunct with the Sun which makes within 17 minutes of each other a Cosimi effect I am born with that yet when I am born I am born with a trine from Mercury and the Sun going to Jupiter so this last week Oh, we had Mercury and the Sun conjuncting in Cosimi, retrograde Pisces, right? My exact opposite. But it was squaring Jupiter. So not only is it an opposite energy, I'm born with a trine. So I'm like, you know, it's easy for me to show up and shine for people and have enthusiasm. So that's kind of been fun too. Why am I talking about myself so much? because I can only talk about myself. I can talk about all of you if you email me at Florence underscore VRA at yahoo.com and then we can pull your chart and I can talk about you. Yet until then, I'll be talking about me or what's going on as a collective. And I'm pretty sure as a collective, it's kind of heavy water sloshing back and forth in a boat. So, Wanted to tune in and say hi. Show you a couple pieces. I don't know how long it's been since you've been in, but look at that beautiful amethyst tree. Great for high-mindedness at this time. Or what about ametrine? Do you guys work with any ametrine? It's amethyst and citrine mixed. So you pull to the higher knowledge. Aids with depression, anxieties, addictions while igniting your third chakra to activate the release and letting go. So you can empower. What about blue appetite? Great for these Pisces waters, the higher mind. 
yet if you're working with it and you're trying to get some motivation it might kind of almost put you into such a solemn effect it would be better for you to put under your pillow and try sleeping with it or through a meditation in either part so hmm let's see is there anything else i don't know for right now see very calm steady energy yet i still wanted to take a minute to just say hello to everybody send you all loves and let you know that madame florence fills the water too much loves and be safe